But how's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to walk you through step by step how to upgrade the RAM, how to upgrade your SSD, and how to change the battery on your Lenovo ThinkPad L14 first generation laptop. Link to the compatible parts that I'm using are in the description of this video and I do have an index so you can skip around to whatever you want to see as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and by the end of this video I'm confident you're going to be able to upgrade your machine to turn it into beast mode. If you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to make sure your laptop is indeed turned off. And then you're going to close the top, turn the computer over. On the side of the laptop here, there is a SIM card tray and you're gonna to need to take a pin or a paper clip and you're going to press in on that hole. That should eject that SIM card tray. Then you can get it around your fingernail and pull the SIM card tray out like that. And then you're gonna take a small Phillips head electronic screwdriver. A single one or a double zero or triple zero bit from a kit is going to work perfectly fine. And then you're going to remove the nine screws here on the bottom case by turning them counterclockwise. The screws don't actually come all the way out. There is a little retention clip on the bottom of the case as I'll show you in a second. But after you get them backed out all the way, you're gonna take a small prying tool like a plastic pick or a spudger and you're gonna work your way in between the bottom case and the top case. And you're just going to run it along the side. You will hear some clips, some plastic unclipping. We're just gonna work our way around with our prying tool. Once you get enough lift, you should be able to work the bottom case off. If you feel resistance at any of the screws, make sure that you backed it out all the way before continuing. There is retaining clips on all of the screws, which makes it really nice. You're not gonna lose any screws during this project. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is remove the power from the laptop via the battery connector to make sure we don't accidentally short anything out. There's a little piece of tape handle connected to the battery connector right here. You're going to grab that and pull it in that direction. And that removes all of the power from the laptop, making it safer to work on. Hiding under these two protective flaps are our two RAM channels. In order to remove a RAM stick, you're gonna pull outwards on these two little arms. That's going to release the RAM and you're going to pull it out just like that. The easiest thing to do would be to leave this RAM where it's at, add another eight gigabytes of 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM, Link to that compatible RAM will be in the description. However, we're going to be removing this RAM and upgrading it to 32 gigabytes with two 16 gigabyte sticks. You match the notch into the slot on the computer, push it in at an angle and then press the RAM down. And then you're gonna do that to this side as well. This can take a maximum of 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So if you really wanna go crazy, you could do 32, 32. It's just gonna be more costly. Now for our SSD upgrade, that's down here. Your computer may or may not have a 2242 installed in here. If you do have the shorter SSD in here like this with the converter, you're going to take off these two screws and then the screw over here. If you just have the 2280 in here, you're going to just remove the screw right here. Once those screws are removed, you can remove the converter. Now, depending on what size you're gonna go with, you may have to reuse that extender when you reinstall. Or if you have a 2280 SSD, you can pull it out. You're going to push it in at an angle and then you're going to replace that one screw here. If you're using the smaller 2242 SSD, you're going to have to use that converter that you took out. You are gonna to have to install Windows via a USB onto your new blank hard drive. And I will put a link to how to do that in the description of this video. In order to replace your battery, you are going to have to unplug it. There's a little tab right here that you're going to pull this way. And there's three Phillips mounting screws that you're going to have to remove being pointed here by these arrows. There are two little notches at the bottom that make you slide the battery out this direction. So you're just going to pull it like that. And for references, the model of this battery is L17C3P52. It's a 4220 milliamp hour, 45 watt, 11.1 volt capacity battery. And then installing your new battery, you're going to slide the two little tabs here in first. 
rest your battery back down and then install the three screws. And then you're gonna have to grab the tab and plug your battery back in. Now we're going to reinstall the bottom case, line everything up and then press it down around all of the edges and it will satisfyingly click into place. And then you're going to tighten all nine screws. After the bottom case is back on, you can slide that SIM card tray in. The little notch is going to be going towards the ethernet port. It's this top slit right here and just goes in like that. Once your laptop's put back together, in order to install your Windows operating system, you're going to need to plug in your USB drive into the USB port. Link to how to make this is in the video description. You're gonna have to boot your computer on and we're gonna have to install our Windows operating system because it has a blank hard drive in it right now. We've turned our computer on. We're waiting for the Lenovo splash screen. And as soon as you see the Lenovo splash screen, hit F12, it enters the boot menu. And then from here, you can navigate the boot menu with your up and down arrow keys. We're gonna go to USB, HDD, PNY, USB, hit enter. It's going to load your Windows installer and USB. For some reason, the display driver has this red bar down here. I don't know why it has this, but it's still going to load our Windows installer. Once your Windows installer loads, that red bar goes away and you can install Windows accordingly. The step-by-step -step to this is in the description below. And as you can see, that was not very difficult to do on this laptop. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any tech videos or wanna see any specific tutorials, throw them in the comment section and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.